Hey guys and dolls, so I'm filming on a new camera, so forgive me if I look at myself in the little viewfinder this whole time. I'm really sorry. I, uh, you know, just, it's kind of, it's so tempting because it's right there, so I apologize. A full list of products and everything I use, is, including substitute products, will be on the blog, and I will see you guys right now when we do the video. We're going to start this tutorial out with Laura Geller Spackle. This is a tinted primer that is in the bronze shade. I love this product. Uh, basically, it's, you know, you can use it just on the face, but when I received it, I thought, why don't I use it on my chest to make my uh, like chest and neck a little bit deeper. As you can see, my chest is much, much lighter than my face. In fact, my face is really, really red today because I've got allergies and all that fun stuff going on. So anyway, I tr I tested this out a few days ago and I really liked it. But then this last weekend, I used this on a wedding job that I had and it was amazing. So I used it on the bride's face. I used it down her chest and decollete. It gave her this beautiful glow and really helped her skin tone to just be completely perfect. But then I also mixed this in with a little bit of her foundation and her skin was so beautiful. It was unbelievable. So I would have to say this is like a new favorite product for me. I start putting this all over my neck and decollete. Uh, if you're not sure what the word decollete means, it just means like this, this stuff here, the, the upper chest. But that's a French word that sounds more, you know, beautiful than just upper chest. Especially when I say it in that voice, right? <laughs> what I like about using a product like this versus, say, actually using, like, a um, self-tan or something is that this isn't as permanent. This will fade in a matter of, you know, next time I take a shower, it's going to come off because it's just makeup. And uh, unlike some of, like, the tanning, like tan lotions or whatever that you can wear because this is actually a face primer it's nice and light in texture so it doesn't add any extra bulk so when you're already wearing you know your sunscreen and everything else it's not adding a bunch of extra texture and thick goopiness which is really nice in the summer and I'm just gonna add a little bit of that to my face just so that they meld well so now that I'm dressed let's go ahead and start with this tutorial and now I'm gonna use my little zoom thingy I'm so excited and hurt. I'm, I apologize. Uh, let's get the eye portion of this tutorial started. I want to start out with Urban Decay Primer Potion. I like this this one because it comes in the tube. Get a little bit of that on my ring finger here and you can see that my hands are still a little stained with the tan stuff so it is really waterproof like I just washed my hands and it still didn't fully come off so if you ask me that's a good thing. Uh, in terms of like it lasting all day and whatnot. So instead of starting with the lid shade and kind of blending out and blowing it out from there, which is another great option and I think that this look should be really soft, but I do want to be very careful about where I place everything. So I'm going to start with the crease shades just to kind of map everything out. This is brown stone from Milani. Get some of that on the brush and I'm going to start placing that right here at the outer corner of my eyelid. Working that over, rocking it in the socket. But really place a lot of it basically out here in the outer edge like really create like the weight of the color there and then start to bring it up and blow it out which is like another way of saying just blend it up a little bit anyway it's a very very small it's like a, it's almost like a mini version of the 222 some shadow on that and I'm gonna place this right in the inner corner here Matte eyeshadows don't reflect light the same as shiny ones, so they will also pull the eye back, and it's just a great way to make your eye look a little fresh off of all the brown shadow. And I'm going to take this color here from the Milani Abstract Powder Eyeshadow Palette. I'm going to take this center shade, I'm going to place that right above the brown shadow to sort of blend it out. Do you see how that makes it so much softer? Sometimes it's just simple as adding a transition color, I swear. <laughs> this is Pearl from Milani. This is another one of the shadows that was recently launched. I've grabbed that on a fluffy brush and I'm just going to blend that all under my eyebrow. Now for the lid shade, we're going to use this awesome pencil from Milani. This is called Brown Deluxe. And I'm going to place that on the lid just in that little frame that I've created for myself in the other shadows. You want to take your finger, as I'm already doing, <laughs> And just blend that within the frame. Try not to take it too far outside that little area. So now we're going to take this caramel brown shadow from Milani. All of these shadows that I'm using today are totally dupable with other things. If you're not able to get your hands on this or if you have something similar, 
do it. I'm going to actually have a list on my blog of what I'm calling substitutes, not necessarily dead bang on dupes, but things that you could use instead that might flood your skin tone better or just maybe things that you already have. Now in that original video, I also added a little pop of gold to the center of the lid. So I'm going to use this one also from the abstract palette. It's so teeny tiny, but you can get a little bit on there. Just place that right in the center of the lid to add a little extra pop. Alrighty, so I don't want my eyeliner to be terribly obvious today, so I'm just going to use a flat liner brush and some gel liner. I'm just going to push that into my lashes, like right along the lash line. I'm not worrying about making a perfect line, or if I get like a little schmutz or something. And just blend some shadow over it and call it a day. That's what I love about looks like this. You know, they're a little, they're not as intimidating because they're not as, like, focused on having a nice clean line. All right, now starting with the under eye, I want to marry this bronze onto that lower lid. And I'm going to take the Deluxe Bronze on a little eyeliner brush. And I'm going to place that right here at the outer edge and bring that out to meet that outer edge on top. And you'll notice that I'm making it a little bit thicker and I'm tapering it in as I bring it in. Now I'm going to use this Milani Liquify Metallic Pencil in Aqua. And I'm going to use a similar method with a little brush. Actually this is the same type of brush, just a different you know, individual brush. Grab some of that on the liner, or on the brush. Grab some of the liner on the brush. Wow, I can't talk today. And we're going to place that right there at the inner and blend it over the bronze so that they sort of meet and make a, a bronzy aqua shade. Sure. Using a brush rather than just going straight from the pencil helps this to get a little bit more precision. Now I want to add just a little bit of black into the inner rim, so I'm taking a Urban Decay pencil in zero. And then I want to set this little inner corner guy, so what I'm going to use is the Blue Had Me at Hello palette from Wet n Wild and this delicious delicious aqua shade just pop it on like yeah for the inner corner I'm going to apply this white uh, winter white another one of the Milani shadow pencils I'm going to use this really pretty like aqua icy shimmer shade a little pencil brush and apply that right yeah I was sort of on the fence about applying eyelashes, but I'm sort of a lashaholic, so I figured, yeah, why not? So I'm going to apply these Ardell 110s, okay? Get your lashes and your tweezers. Just like a natural little lip in between your eyelash line and your eyelid. And just place the lashes there. Alright, and then I want like maximum volume, even though I'm already wearing false lashes, I want to add a little bit more. So this is Max Opulash, Optimum Black, so it's a super like carbon black mascara. And I'm applying that on my own lashes, and then also over the falsies. This will be the last time I wear this pair of falsies, so I'm like feeling free to go all nuts with them. So now there's just one thing left, and that's lips. I'm going to use this Lip Pops uh, lip gloss from Laura Geller. And this is interesting. Like, at first it goes on really watery, or like really thin. And I looked on the QVC website, and apparently this is like a lip gloss stain. So you can just, like, put it on and then, like, blot it off, and it'll just stain your lips. Kind of a cool product. It has a really, really teeny tiny brush. And then I let it set for a second and it actually like becomes tacky. It's kind of cool. So once it becomes tacky, I just do a second layer over that just to enhance the color and you know make it really long lasting. And there you have it. That is my bro tantric bronze tutorial. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you'd like to see a full list of products and also the uh, a few substitute products, because pretty much everything I use, there's something out there that's similar to it. I'll have a link to that in the down bar for my blog and all that good stuff. And yeah, I hope that you're having a fantastic day. I'll see you guys in my next video. Just be yourself. See you. Bye.